Hey guys, Nick here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the Pixel Format Not Accelerator problem. This. Most of you guys clearly know this. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. First things first, check if what windows you're on. To do that, go to settings. Scroll down. Update and security. system bug then you can see here the addition so now you can go ahead and close that first things first you will want I will show you what do I mean by the pixel for panel right? I'll start minecraft and my mod pad on and the mod pad launcher called AT launcher I can put the download link in the description if you want that Okay, so now I'm gonna load up Minecraft. I'm gonna load it up and show you guys that it uh, that it's fine. My Minecraft is fine. The launch at least the vanilla. Wait for a moment. There you go. As you can see, it does load. So this is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and close this, and I'll show you what's the problem with anything else. I was here at display. No. Okay. Wait for a while. I'll show you the log. This happened. Couldn't set pixel form. No. Couldn't set pixel format. Pixel format not set. Right. This one is. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and close this. Now, there's one very important thing you need to do. Do press the Windows key and R. Then this thing will open. The run. Go ahead and search for DX DIAG. DX DIAG. Press OK. Wait for it to load. This thing. So go to display. There. Find the name and the manufacturer. If it's Intel RHD graphics, no, if it's Intel, you can go to the internet and see this. This link I'll put it in the description as well. See here. You know, as it, you know why the reason my Minecraft works is the new Minecraft launcher available on Minecraft.net.net as an MSI. Which is a Minecraft, Minecraft. No, when you install a package, you automatically resolve issues on the chipsets. Which means you automatically fix any problems with the chipset. And then, as you can see, on first and second generation Intel HD graphics chipsets, a uh, Java version below 8U60 is needed on Windows 10. I have 8U90 installed. So you can go ahead and go to. Com. I'm gonna put this link in the description. I'm gonna put this link in the description. And you guys need to scroll down to the bottom and click on Java Archive. Scroll down, click on Java 8, Java SE 8. Scroll down again. As you can see, Java S, there's a Java SE 8U60 and 8U51. There's a development kit, runtime environment, and the server JRE. I will only be using the development kit. Go ahead and click that. Now click accept license agreement. And click whatever version of your Windows has. Uh, 86 is 32 bit, and 64 is 64 bit. I have 64 bit, I have a 64 bit computer, so I'm going to click this. Now it will ask you to log into Java. The reason of that is because these are all for the old. These are all old versions. Well, I already downloaded this, so I can go ahead and close this. And now, go to control panel, search control panel. There you go. Okay. 
Here when it opens, go to programs and features. When it opens, wait to load. As you can see, there are two versions of Java. There's two versions. One is the normal Java 8 update 92. One is the Java SE development kit 8 update 92. I'm gonna go ahead and install both of them. Wait for this. And if you get a prompt for for user account control, which is UIC, click go ahead and click on yes. Wait for it to load. There you go. When it finishes deleting, delete the other one too. It's done. You can go ahead and close this and close exit. Click exit. Okay. Next thing is double click on the the version that you downloaded. Double click. If you get a prompt on UAC, click yes. Click next. I'm not gonna change any install places, so we'll just click next. It's almost done. It will sh it, it will show the JRE installer. Which you, if you download the JRE, then no, you didn't download this. This the development kit is actually just for developers. So so if you are not a developer and you just want to play Minecraft, now the JRE. No, I'm not gonna change anything. Just click next. Wait for it to install. Don't mind anything that's in the background. Okay. Once it's done, it will close itself, and then this thing will also close itself. Wait for what? And it, when it finishes loading. Okay. Click close. And there. You're done. I'm gonna open this and show you. I'm just going to put this to be on my own. Okay. After this, you will see that it actually works. See? Now it's working because it does not have any problems. It doesn't matter. There you go. Now it's working. So I'm going to go ahead and kill Minecraft. Yes. Close this. Close that's it guys so you can just stop the video right here or continue it if I were a developer and I'll show you how to change the error oh, go ahead and search for control click on it okay go ahead and search for system settings and it will prompt you with the USC if you have it enabled okay and why am I my windows at the bottom as you can see there I have two here you have java home and path so if you have java home change the mighty two that you original that you originally had to 51 or you can choose browse directory go to this PC go to your your disk drive Go to program files, go to Java, go to JDK, JDK, then click OK, click OK, and then the path, edit, click edit, not click browse, do the same thing as earlier, but go to program files, Java, JDK, bin, click on bin, click OK, and this one, also click the same. Browse this PC, load up this C, and then go to. Shh. Don't mind 
my data's mine. Grandma go to program files, go to Java, click on JRE, click on bin. Okay, click OK. Then you're done with that. You can go ahead and change the system on if you system once if you want. It's just the same thing. Just that there is no no JRE one. And then this one, Java Home is the same thing. Uh, don't mind that, it's just my job. Click OK. Click OK. And you want to close this. And there you go. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe. Bye bye.